Hey everyone, what's up? So today I'm gonna have a quick tutorial video for you. Uh, I've been asked by a few people, uh, how do I quickly find a quad that I bought from somebody else that already has a Crossfire receiver to my Tyrannus uh, without having to go through and set everything up? So today I'm gonna to show you how to take a quad that you just bought that is set up uh, from somebody else, it's ready to go, it has a Crossfire receiver, and you have a Tyrannus transmitter with the Crossfire transmitter already in it. So I'm gonna show you how to quickly bind these two together without having to go through uh, everything from scratch. This makes a couple assumptions, and those assumptions are that you already have the Crossfire transmitter set up on your Tyrannus, and that you have at least one model using that already. Okay. With that out of the way, let's get this quad bound to this without having to go through and set everything up again from scratch. This is very simple. I think you'll be amazed at how quick we can get this done. Anytime that you've got your quad on the bench and you're going to have power connected, you should never have the props on. So I'm just gonna remove these props really quick and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, now that the props are off, you need to make sure that you're going to be able to access the Crossfire receiver. So in this model, the receiver is actually right in here. You can see the two white connectors. Well, on that receiver, there's a bind button. So while I might be able to reach it, at the very least, I'm going to need to remove the uh, GoPro mount. So we'll go ahead and take care of that really quick. Okay, now then, does that give me the access that I need to reach the bind button? It does not. Okay, so in that case, if you're in a similar situation, you're going to need to remove whatever screws you have. You're going to need to make sure that you get access to that receiver. In this case, I just need to remove the top plate. Okay guys, so now that we can access the bind button on the Crossfire receiver, let's get the transmitter ready. Okay guys, so now on the transmitter side, here's what we're going to do to prepare for setting up the new quad that you've got. We're gonna go into the model menu, and if it's not already selected, you're going to want to select the model that has the Crossfire already set up on it. In this case, uh, it's going to be the one labeled Pink Strix on mine. So now that that is selected, I'm going to go ahead and hold down enter or long press enter. And I'm going to say copy model, enter. I'm gonna move up one to number four and I'm gonna hit enter. Now once that's done, I'm going to long press again on number four and I'm going to select the model that we just copied. Hit enter again to get past the warnings and now we have selected the model that we just copied. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit page and now would be a good time to change the name. So in this case, just go ahead and hit enter and change the name to whatever you want. Mine's going to be orange strict. Okay, with that done, we're gonna go ahead and hit up. We're gonna come down, and because this model was the one that was already using Crossfire, you should see that the internal RF is off, and the external RF is set to Crossfire with the channel range of one through 16. So I'm gonna go ahead now, and I'm going to hit exit, and exit again. And this will take us back to the new model and we're gonna hold down menu, and now we're gonna hit page. Okay, and on Crossfire, you'll press enter. Go to Crossfire Lua, long press enter. Press enter again to execute. And now we're on the Crossfire Micro TX. Press enter one more time. And now you see we're here. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down to binding. 
and I'm gonna bring the model over. Okay, guys, so all we're gonna do now then is we're going to plug in the battery. Again, make sure your props are always off. We're gonna plug in the battery. Okay, guys, so this particular model has already been bound. So that's why you notice the green light is solid here and also solid on the back of the uh, Crossfire transmitter. However, in the scenario that we've laid out, yours would not be solid. As a matter of fact, it would be red. And all you would need to do is just press this bind button once. So apply power, press the bind button once, the bind light will start blinking slowly green. Then you just come over here and you press enter on binding. It will start binding and this light will go solid green. Now again, because it's already binding, uh, it just lost it. So if I press exit, notice it goes back. So this is what you would see. It would go from a blinking green light to a solid green light, indicating that the bind was successful. Now you can hit exit out of here. Uh, go to Micro RX, and at this point I'm going to go ahead and move the quad out of the way because we're finished there. Okay, the quad is out of the way, but it's still powered on. So with the quad still powered on, we can hit the up arrow and we can go into the Micro RX. Now again, because you copied this model that was already set up, you shouldn't have to do anything here, but we can just go down to make sure. So we have a channel, good, telemetry on. Okay, go. And we have Crossfire TX on one and RX on two. And if we come down here to channel uh, 12, we have a link quality or what's going to be your RSSI. So that's it. Uh, we can go ahead and hit exit out of here. Exit again, exit again, and again. And now we're back at this. We'll hit menu once. And from here, we will hit page, and page again, and again, and again. And you can see here that we have all of the inputs uh, already set up. Uh, and this is going to be for your arming and whatever other inputs that you want. So we'll go ahead and next. And again, Providing you copied a model that is already set up and set up the way you liked, you won't have to change anything here because it will mirror your other model. So, my page again. The only thing you may have to do, depending on the flight controller and everything, is set the, uh, the output endpoints in Betaflight just to make sure that you're sitting at 1,000, 1,500, and 2,000. Okay guys, the rest is done in Betaflight. I hope this helped. I know that many people already know how to do this and it's a pretty simple task, but it can also be kind of confusing. And if you haven't done it before or you don't have a lot of experience with Tyrannus or the Crossfire, it can be daunting. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel so that you can see videos like this in the future. And I'll see you guys next time.